In this video, I am going to talk about the significance of tutor comments in open and distance learning system. As you all of us know, in the open and distance learning system, the learners are separated from the university, from the teachers by a physical distance. In such a situation, the self-learning materials and the assignments, they play a very important role in bridging this gap, bridging this distance between the learner and the university. The academic counsellors of the tutors, through their comments on the assignment responses, they communicate with the learners at various levels. The communication between a tutor and the learners, it could be academic communication, it could be personal communication, it could be supplemental communication. Now let us see what we mean by these phrases. First of all, academic communication. When the teachers, when the tutors go through the assignment responses, they read between the lines, they check what are the responses which are correct as per the questions given in the assignment, and what are the lapses are there, and what are the strengths and the weaknesses of the assignment responses. They suggest changes whenever they feel that there is a need to make any change. In a way, they try to help the learners understand their strength and weakness and improve upon them. Now we have personal communication. In the distance learning system, what happens? The learners come from a variety of backgrounds. So their attitude to learning, so their style of learning, they differ. So the teachers of the academic counselors through their tutor comments, they try to build a personal rapport with the learners so that the learners don't feel isolated. They get motivated to continue with the course. Whenever there is a challenge, the personal communication from the teacher or the academic counselor helps them overcome the challenge and stay with the course or the course of study which they are pursuing. Now, thirdly, we have supplemental communication. Supplemental communication by the teachers or by the tutors with the learners, it happens when the learners need clarification regarding their doubts, they need to change their study skills or study habits. The teachers guide them through this kind of communication, that is supplemental communication. The learners may need such kind of communication when they are preparing for the exams, while answering the question papers of the previous years. Similarly, the teachers can also help them by providing model answers to the previous questions, that is supplemental communication. Now let us discuss what are the different kinds of tutor comments that we find across in open and distance learning system. While going through the assignment responses, the teachers can give two types of comments. One is the teaching type of comments, and the second one is the non-teaching type of comments. Under the teaching type of comments, we have positive comments, we have constructive comments, we have personal comments, and we have global comments. Now let us discuss what we mean by this. Positive comments, as the term suggests, they are positive in nature, they motivate the learners. For example, you have made a very good attempt. Keep it up. This is a positive comment. Constructive comment, as the term indicates, it, it is constructive, it is positive, it motivates the learners, it encourages the learners to keep up their study. For example, you have given a very beautiful answer to this question, but it could have been better if you had given more examples. This is a constructive comment. Because the teacher exactly wants to tell the learner what he or she could have done to improve the answer. Now we have personal comments. As we have already said, learners in the distance learning system, they are isolated. They are distanced from the university. These personal comments by the teachers remove this isolation, help the learners remain connected with their teachers, connected with the university, and most importantly, pursue their studies without much challenge. Now let us discuss what are the non-teaching type of comments. Under the non-teaching type of comments, first of all, we have hello comments. Hello comments means they sound very good, but they mean nothing. For example, 
you need to read the lessons again and redo the assignment. The learner doesn't know what to do with this kind of statement. He doesn't know what to study in the lessons. This comment doesn't solve any purpose. Now we have harmful comments. Harmful comments, as the term indicates, they are harmful, they are rude, they are harsh, they demotivate the learners. Like, this answer is rubbish. I never expected such an answer from a learner. Doesn't help the learners improve in any way. Now we have null comments. Null comments means the comments which signify nothing. Sometimes it so happens that the teachers and the tutors give question marks, underlinings, then different kinds of signs they use, but they don't write anything. The learners don't know what to do with these signs and signals. So these are null comments. Then we have misleading comments. Sometimes teachers give comments like read the unit again and redo the assignment. They don't tell the learner exactly what person of the unit they should read. So the learners are not able to decide what to do with the comment. So this is a misleading comment and it doesn't lead the learner to any place. They don't learn anything from this. And finally we have negative comments. Negative comments, the term sounds negative but they are really constructive because when the teachers tell in clear for terms that something is not available, some idea is not clear, some concept is not relevant, they can write this explanation is not correct, yeah, this definition is not correct, this is a negative comment. But it helps the learners improve upon their study and it is very much also useful to them to grow into independent and autonomous learners. Thank you very much.